So John, how long have you owned this plane? Oh, about 15 months now. Right, gosh, time flies. No, no, she's a beautiful machine. Begin Hill Information, Juliet. 0950 hours weather. Runway news 21. Transition level 70. Surface wind 230 degrees, 0, 07 knots, 200, burying 340 degrees. Visibility 10 kilometers or more. Scattered at 2000. Okay, so we got Juliet 017, transition flat south 70, runway 21. Picking November 179, Juliet Delta, good morning. November 179, Juliet Delta, being fresh, good morning, flash message. Clear approach, 179 Juliet Delta, shipping with the engine running, ready to taxi, IFR flight plan, delivered 2K. 1109 Juliet Delta, Roger, taxi, holding point Alpha 1, runway 21, crossing this east runway at P2. Well, it's absolutely lovely to have somebody else doing the flying. You can't, you can't believe how luxurious it is. Anyway, need to check as we go around here. Turning left. Horizon steady, skids right, turns left, compass decreases. David, just a quick question. Would your GoPro not interfere with the compass there? We don't use that compass. Ah, oh, OK. Uh, I suppose it might do actually. Yeah, it, you, it, could, it could do if you were using that compass. We've got we use before we go to that compass. The one we're using here has got to fail. The one on the primary flying display. And after that, we'd actually use the um, quasi compass in the uh, Sky Demon or the Garmin on the iPad before we go to the E2B or the emergency compass or the standby compass. Things change since these things were invented. I remember flying an aircraft in Cessna 421 when you put the windscreen heating on, the compass just went round, 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 oh. round, round. <laughs> and in the, uh, in the Robin, I'm willing to bet something, when you move the stick backwards and forwards, the compass changes. I, I, I've never really looked at it. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I think that might have been a, a problem with the later constructions. I think David is probably okay. Oh, he's not, he's not got the, um, the... I don't know. I know if I put my headsets near it, it does. so quietly. Yeah, so it's all very civilised. I know. You don't really need <laughs> headsets. How, how's, how's the air in conditioning? The yeah, good. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Very good. I better explain now, if I may, what about the, the parachute in this aircraft, so listen very carefully. If necessary, we can pull the parachute to help us go down. We can do it above 600 feet AGL, and the ideal speed range is up to 140 knots, but you pull it if you're desperate. So it's a strong pull required, but you won't have any trouble if you need to do it. When it goes, the aircraft tips forward, and then goes left. You can do it from the back, but you will get thrown around a lot, so you're relying on people in the front to do it if necessary. I can't see it happening because unless you've had a collision of some sort, you can fly the aircraft down quite easily. So that's, that, that's what the CAPS is all about. Okay? We're here already now. We're just going to do a boost um, pump on, make sure rich, clamps are selected, make sure the trim's correct. We don't need the pitot heat, and we haven't got the AC on recirculate. And the on the runway, check if the engine fails on the runway, we obviously land on the runway, stop on the runway. After takeoff, lower the nose, put full flap down, hope it works. The parachute works at 600 feet plus 500, which is 1,100, so up to that height we land as best we can in the fields. After that we just pull it. We're going to pull it until we've gone back through the overhead. November 179, Juliet Delta is ready for departure at Alpha 121. 
Tiger from the one November 613, Charlie Lima. Well, you certainly have to mix it with a heavy metal when you uh, <laughs> go up to Biggin Hill. Yeah. Nine Delta behind the landing Cherokee, line up behind. Nine Delta behind the landing Cherokee, line up behind. Nine Delta. Charlie Lima, start your right turn, please, back to the overhead uh, Gatwick uh, Control Airspace, uh, due south of the motorway. Clear on the right turn, number 613, Charlie Lima, sorry. Charlie report to fight. Delta right turn runway two one clear for takeoff wind two three zero degrees six knots. Right turn clear for takeoff one one seven nine Juliet Delta. That's a right paddle. 100%. No warnings. Airspeed's a reading. And we're taking between 77 and 80. And we're taking. Followed the arc very accurately. It's a rate one turn at 120 knots. It really does work. Delta, climb now to altitude 3,000 feet. 3,000 feet, altitude Delta. Delta, contact Thames radar 133.450. 133.450, decimal Thames, Mount Juliet Delta. Thames, November 179, Juliet Delta, airborne, beginning level 3,000 feet. Number 179 Juliet Delta, Roger, radar control service, and uh, continue present heading as a radar heading. Thank you. Radar control service, but present heading 1009 Juliet Delta. 9 Juliet Delta, Roger. Juliet Delta, climb now to altitude 4,000 feet. 4,000 feet, now Juliet Delta. Number 
number 179 Juliet Delta, contact London, frequency 120, correction, 135 decimal 325. Good day. 135325, bye bye, 9 Juliet Delta. Oh, that's that's clever. It's flashing to tell you to, to change I've, uh, that I've gone. The, I'm on the QNH. Yeah. Yes, that's right. That's because clever. I haven't programmed in the transition level. Ah. Um, because I've which was seven zero. Which was seven zero. I can program it in, and it'll automatically change. Right. It's yeah. assuming the transition yeah. level was five zero. Yeah. yeah. It's five zero. It's a default setting. Uh, easy one two uniform tango. Call Gatwick on one two six decimal eight two five. In the states, that would be programmed on uh, eighteen thousand feet. In fact, one two uniform tango. Just stay with me for a moment, please, and reduce to two hundred and twenty knots. I'll transfer you shortly. November 179, Juliet Delta. Climb flight level 90. Confirm that's your requested cruise level. Climb 90, yes, that is my requested cruise level. 179, Juliet Delta. Roger, thank you. 179, Juliet Delta. Just continue on your heading for the moment, please. We're looking, um, I'll say, let's take you just to the north of Lid, then turn you across. Thank you. Uh, maintaining heading for the time being. Climbing to 909, Juliet Delta. Flight 4 Alpha Lima descend, flight level 100. Uh, November 179, Juliet to Delta. You can actually route direct to Tracker from there. Direct Tracker, November 179, Juliet Delta. Oh, there we are, going up to the cruise now. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Got 10.13 set, we're going to 9.0. At 125 set, we're monitoring CHDs not to go above 4.20, which they won't. EGT is too low at the moment because we're very rich. The peak in the cruise will go, it'll go up, then come down again. We're adjusting, looking at the screen, right, we're heading for Tracker, which oh, is here, yeah. it'll pass us over to Lille, yeah, and then we can come Charlie down Lima into the 2K pattern. Fair traffic on Mand, we go for runway 1-3, which has got the tailwind, to but we'll go all the way around and land on 3-1, just so uh, you've got the exercise Lima, on Roger, there. Thank you, OK then, uh, just continue on your heading. heading and just to confirm, this is 4-5 Charlie, we are now at speed 250 knots. Do you want us to reduce further? 
Chris, come on, Charlie. I need you to reduce speed. Reduce your speed to 220 knots now, please. 20 knots, sorry. Go ahead, Charlie. Thanks. Service, 240, bearing 320, unlimited vis, fuel at 1600, broken at 2600, 1018. You can do that on your kit as well, can't you? Uh, yes, via the little white Not, box yeah, that yeah. sits on the thing. Yeah. Yeah, We've got to, enough air. I've turned it off a little bit. We're going to uh, Tracker, which is a useful place to curve down onto the 2K from. Bonjour, ici le Touquet, service de circulation aérienne non assuré jusqu'au mercredi 7h UTC. N'oubliez pas de clôturer votre plan de vol à l'arrivée. Auto-information sur fréquence tour 118.450 en français. Et le numéro de la zone 79, Delta, vous devez vous 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 SOM permission, tower frequency 118, decimal 45, zero in French only. So we're now programmed to go to ECLED, which is the initial approach fix for the RNAV 31. And it'll give me a vertical NAV profile. There's no need to descend yet. I think you can do that on the 750 as well. Yeah. And, uh, they're, they're the same, but you just get to it a different way. Delta six one three Charlie Lima, D seven five. About fifteen eighty five, which is perfect. Less than four twenty, which is fine. I'm lean. Of, I'm lean of peak by quite a long way. See what you don't normally come this high then. <laughs> um, I, ha I have done, but no. not normally. Wow, look how clearly you can see France. So, yeah. it's telling us one minute we need to start to descend. We, we'll work that out later. We want to stay a little bit higher when we're over the water. We'll actually drop down when we're in the pattern. So, we won't be at 2,000 at the deck lab. We've got to 2,000 by Alta, probably. So ground speed 179, air speed 145, so got a nice idea. Yeah, 171 Taz. Uh, Taz is 171. So we've got 6 knot tailwind and 26 knot crosswind. So what we can do is we can put up the cruise checklist on here if we want to. It's their version of Frida. 120, we are 300 knots, so easy 75 on your bubble. 75 on your bubble, Roger, thanks. So dummies. So oxygen we're not using, it's switched off. Cruise altitude we're established at. Power, 30 and a half or less, it's just 29.9. Pump and fuel, the mixture is correct, we've already spoken about that. Engine parameters are fine, the fuel flow balance are good, mixture. We don't need to do that because we're not hot. But if we were hot, we would lean it. Okay, so here's your... Delta, you can call Leal approach now on 120.275. Goodbye. 127.275. Bye-bye. Thanks. 120.275. 120275. Nice to do it, Delta. Leal information, Leal approach, November 179, Juliet Delta. Good morning. Number 179, Delta, uh, bonjour. Are you ready for further descent to the 2K? Yes, please. I'd like a descent to 2,000 feet on 1018. I'm aware that the 2K is closed in its French only. That's correct, number no, Juliet Delta. Descend 2,000 feet QH 1018. And you have to perform a visual uh, pattern to check the runway news at the 2K. That's fully understood. My intention is to do an RNAV joining at ECLAB, no hold. I'll listen out on the DJ frequency from ECLAB, 9 Juliet Delta. 
for Georgia Delta, uh, join ECLEP 2008, uh, cleared the Arna via ECLEP. Thank you, Arna player ECLEP cleared. So I set a uh, descent up at 1,000 feet a minute. We need 808 to get back onto the uh, point. Uh -huh. So we will intercept the anticipate the 1.7 degree descent path before we get to ECLEP. It's interesting that on my iPad I can get a very similar picture to... Yeah, uh, just don't have pitch information, yeah. Ah, I, I do if I turn that little box on that I've put in there. You do? Oh, yeah. don't, don't, don't dazzle me with that. <laughs> We've got all sorts of kit in the back as well. <laughs> the thing with this is I've got, it's all duplicated, it's all duplex, and if, if this, if this one fails, I can put it onto this one, of course. We still have enough information to fly the approach. Number 179J Delta, cleared final approach, report established long final 3-1. Copy on our report established long final 3-1, November 179J Delta. the same isn't it if the if uh, the ultimate situation if the screens all go wrong <laughs> that's it yeah is that <laughs> yeah. yeah there she goes So we do the full brief on it as it's established into it bit by bit. We did it. We're on 1845, which is correct for the RNAV 31. We joined the ECLEB, we're following the pattern around. We go around it straight ahead to Alpha Tango 510 and then back to ECLEB to enter the hold at 2000 feet. It's an LPV, we hope, an LNAV if it's not. They have similar decision and uh, similar altitudes that you can descend to before making a decision before going around. There's not another aircraft in sight, nothing. No, not, not, it's unusual. It's over, yeah. There was another one going into the 2K yeah. speaking French. The weekend, all the Brits go over. I think they've learned that there's no aircraft. They've aircraft, yeah, they've aircraft on, a sat on a Tuesday. On a Tuesday, yeah. If they don't speak French, they don't want to take the risk. The Leo controller chases them off. <laughs> <laughs> It's really strange that they don't have ATC on a Tuesday. I mean, it's well, it's a, a big airport like this, it's very odd, isn't it? Uh, Tuesday. Number 1790 Delta, um, are you ready to copy a telephone number that you can call uh, when you have safely landed? Uh, I have the number, it's OK, and I'm established on the final approach, 9 Juliet Delta. It's OK traffic, this is uh, November 179 Juliet Delta and Cirrus approaching the final approach fix on uh, NAV 3-1. Traffic, level 179 Juliet Delta, Cirrus, on long finale, piste 31.
got LPV GPS, which is what we want. So coming up to the final approach fix there, we were configured, brief, ground, ground slope we lower on, the frequency is good, we're established on course, approach is selected, and we've got 3D active. So we're clear to continue. Circus is here. Yeah. Well, that's the usual bunch of English registered aircraft. Yep. Not so many, though, because it's Tuesday. There are a lot of Fs here, a lot of this whole uh, road. Yeah. 